There we go. What's up, Creed? Thursday's warm up coming at you here. You got a two minute cardio choice to start things off, and then we're going into a three minute EMOM. All right, so both movements are supposed to be done in the same minute. So we're going 50 seconds total here with 10 seconds of rest with our jumping jacks and alternating groiners. So, what that looks like to start off with is our two minutes of cardio choice. We have our jumping jacks, we have our high knees, and then onto the ground we have mountain climbers and also a seated run here. All right, so since two minutes is a longer time, you can split them in half, do one minute of one cardio choice, another minute of another, or maybe split into 30 second sections and do that. But we just want two minutes of full movement, getting that heart rate up. And our EMOM with three minutes is 25 seconds of jumping jacks, which we just showed you into another 25 seconds of alternating groiners. So we're down on the ground, we're gonna start in that lunge position, and then we're jumping in the air and switching, keeping the hands planted though. Notice how our front foot, when it comes forward, that heel is flat to the ground. There is no toe on the ground and the heel is up. Her feet are completely flat. If that's too challenging for us, we can step it back and step it forward. Hold for a second though, as to get that hip stretch. Then, when we go into our Thursday workout here, a lot of words on the page, so pay attention. Part one, we have a 10 minute cap. So we have three sets for max reps today. So we're going one minute of dumbbell curl into around the world, and we'll explain that on our demo here as well. Then we have another minute straight into it, single dumbbell tempo strict press. Our tempo is two, one, two, one. And then we have one minute again of single dumbbell renegade row. And then we rest 30 seconds after we complete one full set, which is all three of those. So three minutes, 30 seconds of rest, another three minutes, 30 seconds of rest, and another three minutes, and that's all three of our sets. Then we go into an AMRAP of six minutes, we're going four dumbbell push press, eight burpees, and four dumbbell ground to overhead. So we're hitting all those and wrapping through those three movements for six minutes, and then we go immediately into, after that full six minutes, we go immediately into two minutes of a cardio choice, and then after that two minute cardio choice, we go into another six minute AMRAP wrap of the same moves, but the burpees drop by four reps, so it's four, four, and four, instead of four, eight, and four. All right, so down there it says dumbbell push press, burpees, and dumbbell ground to overhead again. So, with our first part, we're starting with three sets for max reps, one minute of dumbbell curl into around the world. So we start with that dumbbell, both hands around the head. We do one curl, go all the way around the head, keeping that torso as still as possible, keeping that head as still as possible. And we're using those shoulders and biceps and arms to drag that dumbbell around our head. We go left one way, and then we go right the other way after that curl. And then when we come back down, that is our done, that's rep two. We just finished rep two there, all right? So she just did two reps in that whole demo. So you're going to curl into left side around the head, right side around the head, and then back down, that's one full rep. Then we go into a minute of single dumbbell tempo strict press. So we're starting with our legs locked out, glutes tight, core tight, all right? Notice how our tempo is nice and slow on the way up. We're going one, two, one, one, two, one. All right, so on the way up, you're taking two seconds. On the way down, you're taking two seconds. And at the top and the bottom, we're holding for just one second. All right, so that's six seconds total for one rep. So since we're doing 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other side, you should be getting five reps on the dot every time for 30 seconds, all right? If we're getting more than five reps, our tempo may be too quick. And if we're getting less than five reps, our tempo may be too slow. So be weary of that. And then our next minute, single dumbbell renegade rows. We're down in a push-up position. One dumbbell is in one hand and the other hand is flat. We're doing a row with a dumbbell in that hand and then we're hitting a push up. And then we're driving that dumbbell across the ground, doing a row and then a push up. And that's two reps total. So you'll do one row on one side and one push up. That's one rep, one row on the other side and one push up and that's two reps. All right, just going for a full minute there so reps don't necessarily matter unless you're going for gold. Maybe set a high number for yourself and then try to go in and get that. And then we got 30 seconds of rest after those full three movements and you'll repeat two more sets. Then we have our AMRAP of six minutes. We have four dumbbell push press. All right, so we'll split these in half, two and two. One, two, then we'll switch arms. One, two, notice how she has a shallow knee bend. Core is still tight and she's driving that arm overhead. Then she has eight burpees. So she goes into this chest to the floor, uses that momentum. When she jumps back up, her feet are wide. Feet start wide, feet jump back to narrow, and they come back wide there. All right, after our burpees, we go four dumbbell ground to overhead. So we're holding the dumbbell at either end. We're stopping at mid shin here. We're driving through those hips and legs to get that explosive dumbbell coming straight up our body. Don't let the dumbbell come out in front of our body. We want it nice and close all the way up and down. 
And then after that, you have two minutes of cardio choice and then into another AMRAP of those three movements. But notice the reps do change on burpees. All right, Creed. See you guys later.